Russia has now made it official that they have moved into the war front and made operational this brand new hypersonic glider. They can go 27 times the speed of sound. Vladimir Putin himself has made comments that this is a weapon that changes the game on the face of the planet because no one has the ability to stop it. And I'm going to show you why he says that here in just a second. He says that they're trying to develop something to stop this, but in all reality, when looking at this, the best way to take out any of these missiles is going to be in the boost phase. Now, if they're launching them from aircraft, it's a whole different ballgame, which they do have the same type of missile that can be launched from an aircraft. They talk about it here in these articles. The thing about it is this. When this thing comes down, it can do this. It can dodge anything coming at it versus traditional weaponry that stays on a straight path and it's easy to get hit for ABM systems because they come in a straight line. These hypergliders can now go 27 times the speed of sound and they can dip back and forth missing anything it's trying to hit it quickly. Not to mention, all they got to do is equip these things as well with flares or something else that pulls heat-seeking stuff off of them as well. There can be a, an array of things connected to this. This is why they're saying it's so huge. And here's another reason it's so huge. The United States has nothing set up in Europe to counter this. Europe has nothing. If they've been depending on the United States for help and defense this whole time, well, now we have a situation where these new missiles have been put right on the forefront. They're being rolled out. They're telling the whole world this. And Russia's trying to extend a treaty this uh, new treaty that they've been trying to talk about with the United States, they've extended it out, but the United States has yet to say anything. These damn ads popping up here. This is a look at what they can do in trying to get these hypergliders way up into the atmosphere and then dropping them from there on a target. They're saying in this boost phase is when you got to take them out, but they're saying the best way to be able to take them out is from space. Maybe now people can get a better look and understanding of what this space force is all about. Countering other weapons and, of course, adding weapons up in subspace. Well, we've got a lot going on right now. Things are shifting big time. And we know these governments are all decades ahead of what they're telling the masses, which and I do believe the United States has something similar to this. It's just my own personal gut feeling. But I also believe that the United States is going to come down one day by design, by the same hand that lets everything else go down out here. And you cannot forget that. What that means is it doesn't matter if we've got the baddest military on the planet. If you've been sold out, they're going to pull the carpet out from underneath of you. You're going down. Do you understand that? By the same hand that JFK warned you about. They're still in Operation Global. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall into this illusion of choice. Know your enemy. Know how they operate. And know you have brothers and sisters around this planet of every color, of every, every religion, every background. It's going to take us all to overcome the beast.